what's up guys uh, I apologize for the few of you who do watch um, for not posting for quite a while um, I've been pretty busy with work and uni and stuff like that but I've got a few video ideas coming up so hopefully you'll get a few videos out but um, yeah I've done a few things to the car since you guys on YouTube have last seen it so I thought I would show you guys around the whole car uh, I think it's about time I do a full walk around and just update you on what I've done um, recently and just in the whole time I've owned the car. And those of you that follow me on Instagram will know what I'm talking about, but I won't spoil it for those who haven't checked on there. I have something pretty exciting for me, at least coming in a few days, that it's just off at paint now. Um, so yeah, it, that will be a video of its own coming very soon. All right, so most of the stuff I've done to this car is pretty much on the exterior. Uh, I've already had some like engine mods done to it when I got it. So I've been pretty happy with the power level it's making, but I'll still, I'll explain everything to you, but I'll start with the outside. So, it is currently sitting on some T37 SLs in pressed graphite. Um, these front pairs are not the original front pairs that I put on the car, because if you watch my other video, you would have seen that the fronts didn't clear my coilovers originally and I needed to run spaces. So originally it was a 18 by 9.5 plus 22 square set. So I'm still running those on the rear, but I changed the fronts out for an 18 by 9.5 plus 12. So it's a 10 mil lower offset and it gives me the clearance over the coilover um, without needing spaces. And I think it just is honestly the absolute perfect spec for this car like I would not change a thing um, having plus 22 rear plus 12 front um, just gives the right amount of camber if you run a square set you'll have to run more camber in the rear than the front which I'm not the biggest fan of I prefer having a little bit more camber in the front or even so yeah super happy with that they net they never actually sold like you couldn't just buy um, these T37 SLs in plus 12 but um, MK Motorsport in I think they're in Melbourne um, they seem to be able to get some cool custom spec stuff and they had a pair which I was super happy to pick up one of my most favorite mods um, to the car so far is these headlights uh, if you remember, I just used to have stock headlights. They were in pretty good condition, but just the housings on the stock headlights like aren't completely black and they just never look as good as these. So these are 78 Works V1 headlights um, with the complete black housing. So there's no chrome rings or anything in there, which I think looks super nice especially on this red um, and these are actually a discontinued headlight so a pair came up and I, I haven't seen another pair of these come up since I've owned the car so I just had to get them these are my favorite ones um, the ones that they make now are still pretty good but they're not completely backed out they have some chrome rings and stuff in them and personally these are my favorite ever headlights for the S15 so Super happy I managed to score them. So for the body kit on this thing, um, currently it's got a Vertex rear bar. It's a Vertex style skirts, but these are a lot um, higher than the actual Vertex ones. Um, if you see actual Vertex ones, like if they're on this car right now, they'd honestly, honestly be almost on the ground. They're like super low skirt, like one of the lowest you can get for this car. So I'm happy I have these ones because it'd be pretty, it'd just be annoying to drive going like everywhere if I had skirts that low and I'd be cracking them all the time. Um, just an um, OEM style aero front bar on the front. I think it's just the best looking for the S15. And just to finish off the body kit, it's got a D-Max boot wing. Um, just clean I think it just makes the whole shape of the car really nice 
I do like the GT wing. Um, I'll definitely be getting one one day. Um, but I want. I really love this. Like, like I want. I want to keep this as an option. So I'd put a GT wing on another boot, so I can just swap them out when I like. Tail lights. You see them everywhere. But these are the Yashio um, tail lights. I think they look the best, and especially on this red, just like that big red portion of the tail light looks super nice. OEMs are cool too, but I hate the big orange part um, of it. I think it just takes away from the red. A little hard to see, but I do have the car sitting on 326 power coilovers. Um, these things are amazing. I've got 12 kg um, front spring rates and seven in the rear, so quite soft. But um, with this wheel setup, making it work, my suspension works super well and this thing is very comfy and oh yeah, I forgot to mention just got the 326 power lug nuts gotta have these crown end caps love these for the interior not too much has been done but it definitely has come a long way as well from when I got it so this is two pieces you wouldn't have seen um, this is a JDM steering wheel I managed to pick up. My old steering wheel, which um, I'll throw a pic of it in here, uh, was wearing out a bit on the edges and it was just time for a swap. It was an Australian model steering wheel because it came with the car, um, but it's, this is a GT model. So that, is, that was with the S15 JDM outer and it had the Australian airbag, which just has a little Nissan logo and isn't quite as cool as this one. So JDM wheel and JDM floor mats, which I'm quite happy about. Uh, I used to have the bride floor mats in here, but they got too dirty for my liking. And I also changed my mind on seats that I want to put in this car. So having bride mats with non-bride seats would have been kind of strange in my opinion. Other things in the interior is just a Apple CarPlay head unit got to have that that was the first thing I did to this car um, also got a reverse camera wired up to that which makes life super easy um, Nismo shift knob clean I love it um, got a likewise drift button which the car is gonna roll if I drop that down but I think that's cool likewise is an Australian brand they make some pretty cool stuff also got the H pattern um, it's actually metal but it's like a sticker because uh, Australian laws state that you need to show a H pattern if it's not in the shift knob for some reason but yeah not too much else on the interior other than some sticker bombing behind the banner I should probably mention the exhaust um, it's basically completely custom now got these blast pipes which are pretty cool but um now being so much lower like this car just with the low profile tires not too much camber it's like properly low now like i scrape my chassis quite often and the exhaust was extremely annoying scraping everywhere so i got it pretty much fully custom all tucked up um, by a fabricator still running a muffler in there right in the back section um, it used to be down near the diff and it just scraped on everything but up in the rear section it's all fixed and I'm not sure how well you guys are going to be able to see but the exhaust is literally only a few mil lower than the chassis rails now so I have no issues with scraping it I guess I'll show you under the bonnet but it really just looks completely stock got super dusty from yesterday I'm gonna have to give that a clean but yeah literally all you can see that's not stock in here is the catch can um, yeah I've even got the OEM airbox back on it because my dodgy pod, pod setup uh, was causing me some issues I think the bottom of this airbox is actually cut open though so it's a little bit louder than stock Let's see the 326 Amber tops, very nice. But um, so yeah, as I said, this thing's pushing. I think it was exactly 208 kilowatts. 
on the dyno. Um, so it's just got a fuel pump, Nismo 740cc injectors. Um, it's running a Z32 airflow meter down there and a Nistune ECU. So pretty simple, it's still on 98, um, but it's very reliable. Oh, and obviously the turbo. It's not a stock turbo. Um, the ADM turbos aren't the best for pushing power. They're not ball bearing. So this is a Kinagawa uh, 2867R. And it has a bigger than normal rear housing, I was told, which does make it a little bit laggy, but it gives it some top end, which is pretty good. It drives really well, reliable. I don't think I really want to touch it for a little bit just because of how well it runs and it's fast enough. But yeah, oh, now that we're talking about engine stuff, I should mention the drivetrain. Luckily, I also got this all done with the car when I bought it already. Uh, it's got an, the five speed from an S14. Um, so the six speeds in the S15s are apparently a bit weak and the five speeds are a little better. It does crunch slightly into fourth if you're giving it a lot, but I guess it's not too bad. And it's also got a 4.3 um, diff ratio, which I've heard is very desirable for S chassis. And they're a little bit hard to find, I think. So I haven't even driven um, a Sylvia with anything else, but I think this is pretty good. Um, the 4.3 seems to give it a bit like shorter ratios than what would be standard. So makes it feel a bit faster than it is, I guess, which is not too bad. Just lose a bit of top end, like top, top end, 200 plus, which don't often have the car up to that speed. But this thing honestly just drives amazing now for how low it is, like with no rub. Um, it's just perfect. The body kit's at a level that I can literally just get over some decent speed bumps without wrecking it. It's my daily. I can get most places without a worry. And yeah, I'm just enjoying it for now. Yeah, I think that is it. Can't think of much else I've done to this thing. Um, oh yeah, the last piece, let's get that paint now. Um, it'll be ready in a couple days, so stay tuned for that. Should be a quick install. Um, but that'll really finish off the car and then I'll be very very happy with it happy with how far it's come it's been a bit over a year just just over a year since i've um bought it and it's come a long way and it's almost perfect in my eyes definitely gonna change some things up eventually with different wheels and that i'm never selling these like these are perfect spec and these getting discontinued this year i don't know if they're discontinued already but like I love these wheels, never selling them. Um, but yeah, but thanks for watching. If you want to motivate me more to make some videos, hit that like button or subscribe. Um, it's definitely hard starting out on YouTube, but I enjoy doing it, so I'm just going to keep making videos. But yeah, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one very soon.